So to get underway. Off we go with Zander Duplessis. High hanging kick and well taken in from Tain Langer. Quick ball is needed from Gray. Out wide to their lock forward, Bjerkus. Broad getting it out. Same ball runner, Andre Hucho Fenter. Going to hear a lot about him. And there they go over. Gray Bloom have got the try. An all important one. All that pressure, all the territory, all the possession has paid dividends. You mentioned for the uh, Christchurch boys have been able to hold them out for, for quite a while now. But just being patient with the ball in hand and bringing it through. They're looking for the offload. The guys have come into contact. Everybody's clear on their descriptions of what's going to happen. Yeah. Conversion. Be clear of their lines. Pick and go. Up goes Tane Langen. Still going, goes Tane Langen. Now he just needs support players over the top and for the steal goes Wycliffe Latour. He's got it back for Grey Bloom. Numbers out on this right hand side for them. And taken in by Matthews. Pick and go once again, and it's this first try. Corey is going to get a second. Devet Maria goes over the pick and go for the second time, working out, catching the defence of Christchurch boys. And Grey Bloom have been rampant in this opening few minutes. The Christchurch boys are not setting their defence quick enough, and when that happens, the opportunity for quick recycle ball and a pick and go through the middle. Fantastic try again. Version was hammered through the uprights. And Expect much of the same. Oh, charge down. Unbelievably so, charge down. Long run up. And the Christchurch boys man got his fingers to it. He won't be doing that again. Broad gets it out. It's a little bit scrappy, but they can make amends. Out to Small Smith. Small Smith gets it away. Just short of the line. Oh, that is a fantastic try. Back on the inside. And Grey Bloom are running right. Just over 10 and a half minutes. And easy as you like, 17 0. Difficult conversion coming in conditions. And once again, through the upright, there is a quality conversion, particularly in the conditions from the right hand touch line. Just the pace of the game, just seeming a bit much for Christchurch boys at the moment. Out wide and a clever little kick through. Here comes the speedster. Small Smith has got the ball. Small Smith is going. Yeah, and Small Smith underneath the posts. In professional rugby, that would be a bonus point. Just over 12 minutes. But a lovely kick through into space. The bounce of the ball assisting him. And Ian Small Smith, all the gas in the world, gets the try. Just missed the one conversion. Should charge down. So he's taken this one a fair way back. Going to be charged down again as he thumps it through the uprights. Yeah, lovely kick through. And uh, nice, line, not nice line and skill as well from 14 to bang off his right leg there. There were defenders there that could still have stopped him, but great skill. And there's no substitute for pace, obviously. Yeah, no, the pace is. And the pace of the game that these grey boys are playing at is really making the boys from Christchurch blow a little bit bit of a shorter kickoff. Oh, that is brilliantly taken. It was Werner Hoes. Oh, early jump. That's a good take. So Chapman. Woody gets it out. And oh, what a line that is. Fantastic running from George Harding. Easy as you like. Off the top to the center. But that line and the angle tails. Yeah, superb. And it's going to be great for their confidence to realize that if they just do the basics well, they can come back in this game. Yeah, great taking the line out there. Off the top ball, nice and clean for the nine. And then the 10's picked a nice line here for the 13. Coming through a hole on the angle there. Very hard to stop for that defender. Quite a chunk of meat for a 13 as well, George Harding. Extras added, no problem whatsoever. And Cullen Woody. And uh, I know Quentin Immerman loves doing schoolboy games to get a little bit of extra fitness. Well, he's going to be getting it tonight. <laughs> Error from Christchurch boys again and again. Yeah, an opportunity oh. to secure, secure that ball, but have just put themselves under pressure. Yeah. Oh, another good line from the opposite 13. And Small, Smallsmith will go all the way to the line. 
beautifully set up by Wycliffe for tour. Ian Smallsmith has now got his second. The two players, the other is David Maria. He's got two. Now Smallsmith, but set up by Wycliffe for tour. Yeah, fantastic line here from Wycliffe for tour. And you see the, the pace that he has, the ability to get on the outside of his defender. But the key thing here, I think, is his patience and holding, holding, and then passing the ball at the right time as well to hold that defender, stop that last defender being able to turn out on 14. There's been an expectation from the past where the wingers need to be quick, but having speed and acceleration right across your back line is a genuine threat to defences and holds those defenders on the inside. Yeah. So then you've got the opportunities on the outside with your wingers. Nice. Another very, very good conversion, must be said. I'd like to see Derek Hocott get a few of those from the corner. <laughs> ben Lopez, the sub that's come on. Chapman. What a sniping oh, run this is. Line. Cullen Woody, he's gone all the way underneath the post. Much better from Christchurch Boys High. A bit of possession, a bit of continuity, and then some individual brilliance from Cullen Woody. Yeah, more patience shown here by Christchurch boys as well. Lucky on a couple of occasions, they've got to get their cleaners in a little bit quicker to secure that ball. Gray Bloom all the way across the park are trying to contest at the breakdown. But you can't beat acceleration at 10 and 9 equally. They're going to hold the defenders on the inside. And you can see that here off the mark, that explosive 10 metre speed is critical for your team. Oh, gentlemen, Bowden Barrett comes to mind. Yeah, there's not many quicker, Robbie. <laughs> Well, Bowden's pretty quick, I would think. Uh, conversion, so clawing their way back into this game, and good to see the efforts there. Rushed things slightly when they got their first bit of possession in Christchurch. But now I'll settle down into a bit more of a rhythm. Chapman doesn't find touch, so out by Duplessis. Brits, there's that man again, Flatour. Dangerous runner he is. He looks for his support back on the inside. Oh, what a try this is. That is individual brilliance of excellence. Quality all the way. Nothing on. Try scored by Wycliffe Flatour. Yeah, that was special. You're not going to see many tries better than that this, uh, this week as well. Did so many things well in this play other than, than using his speed and acceleration. He takes the ball and he's having a look and then he's also put the defence in, uh, in two minds. He brings the ball into two hands as if he could possibly be offloading as well and then uses his swerve. We want him to swerve rather than step to maintain that top end speed and it doesn't allow the defender to come into play. Fantastic try in the corner. Yeah, with the sun going down as well, we've got a little bit of a breeze occurring here now, so I'm not sure if the kickers have worked it out completely. Well, that's the first one he missed. Probably the wind bar blowing from left to right as he kicked that, so just drifted past the upright. Again, preferring to go out wide. Plateau, the danger man, gets it to Small Smith, another one. Quick he is. Beautiful on the outside, and what exceptional hands from Murray. Murray keeps going. Murray keeps going. This is a hat trick for Murray. Devet Murray, try number three in this game, and that one. A lot more effort and brilliance besides the two pick and goes he did earlier. Yeah, fantastic. And just being able to see the way that they set that up quite nicely. I think Christchurch boys are going to have to become a lot smarter around their defense. It's something they've done well all the way through, Robbie, is that they're not condensing their attack. And by putting their, putting their backs and their runners as wide as possible, it's stretching the defense as much as they can with Cross College. Chapman. Well played. Quick chap he goes. Space in behind. Barnes has put it through. Barnes has Great. got the try. Lovely from the fullback. Saw the space in behind. Yeah, fantastic skill. And, and also following up on the kick as well. The kick is only as good as those that follow up on it. And uh, he pursued it all the way to the end. Unfortunately, we didn't get the replay on that there, but just following up on it, he had to work hard. Two from two from Kalamudi gets the conversion. There you see the men, the Yaguares, that beat Paul Boys earlier. Quality effort from them. As, uh, Quinton Immelman has decided it's half time. A game of rugby on our hands. Yeah, yes, Gray are ahead by 45 to 21. 
But a fantastic display of skills from both sides and Christchurch boys coming back into it and hopefully in the second half to prove some more. Rampaging Grey Bloom side. Kick off again. Similar spots and similar results. This time taken in though by Maria, not close. Front ball it is, driving more. So a sack not affected from Grey Bloom. And some good go forward here from Christchurch boys, rumbling up and through. And over the line they go. Be interesting to find a try scorer amongst that. Looks like Corbin Harding has got it down. Driving wall against the South African side. Always good for New Zealanders to get one up. And this time they've done so. So they set themselves well here. As you said, they didn't have the opportunity to sack. They were patient with it as well. Kept themselves nice and tight. Come away with the result they were looking for. Yeah, pretty low center of gravity. Their body position is absolutely perfect. And the extras added by Cullen Woody. Woody getting out his man car again taken down and been well watched throughout this game. Woody trying to get the pass out wide, but this time it's snatched up. And this will actually be a well deserved try for Werner Coast, particularly with his aerial skills early on in the game from the kickoffs. He's been hard, he's been industrious throughout. Try time for Graeblum. Expect his under to add the extra two. No problem there. Yeah, a very good athlete there at number eight. He's breaking through from the halfway line, carrying the ball, and the wingers are not towing him in. And then you, you know you've got genuine pace. Still time, and again another interception. This time around, will he be caught in pursuit? Go, Woody, but he gets there. Outside ball to centre partner Wycliffe. Look to Franco Smith. Adds a beautiful offload. The tour gets the try. A well deserved one. Try number nine in this game for Grey Bloemfontein. And he just showed again there as class. He ran a great line in support. He was either going to be there to pat his mate on the back or get the offload as he did and go under the, under the post for a try. Seventh conversion for Zanadu Pasi. If you look at this, uh, if you look at this opportunity here, obviously the intercepts come through, but the ten from uh, Christchurch boys is exceptionally well to get back and make the tackle. And again, skill shown with a one-handed offload, calculated and exactly where it needed to be. And still, a grey college machine keeps moving. Vessels with another carry. Van Rensburg waits. Van Rensburg back on the inside and the big lock forward. Has he got over for the try, George Cronier? Yes, he has. He's another man that has been relentless in his efforts as far as this team is concerned this evening. Again, just sustained pressure. Good clean outs. Every player been eager to get their hands on the ball or to make sure that the ball's secured. Good awareness from the tight forward knowing the ball is coming on the inside. Straight through the middle, and that's time, says Quinton Immelman. A quality game from these two sides. It was all great Bloemfontein or great college to start it off and kick it off with us. Four tries in just under 12 minutes. A brave fight back from Christchurch boys. Unfortunately, it was not to be for them. The lead was a stretch too far, and the quality of this great college machine and what they delivered was really fantastic to see. Full time at Brook Street Stadium here in Paul. Great College 66, Christchurch Boys 28.